Congressional District 3 is very blue, and the numbers show just that, with the Democratic candidate Teresa Ledger Fernandez leading by more than 20 percentage points in this poll. Congressional District 3 has a history of voting Democrat. This district includes places like Santa Fe and Taos that are very, very liberal. So this race between Democrat Teresa Ledger Fernandez and Republican Alexis Johnson isn't expected to be a close one. A new Albuquerque Journal poll has Ledger Fernandez comfortably in the lead. 58% of the nearly 350 voters surveyed picked her as their candidate, while Johnson had 35%. Congressional District 3 is a seat Ben Ray Lujan held for years, but someone new will take over since he's running for U.S. Senate. Our political expert, Brian Sanderoff, says he's not surprised by these results. You know, the Northern District is a Democratic stronghold. Typically, the Democrats been getting around 62 percent in the recent decade in this district. He also says the Northern Congressional District has not been targeted as much by those in Washington, so it's likely been harder for candidates to raise money. But here, most people have speculated that this race was not very competitive. So we don't see the types of television ads like we have seen in some of these other races, like in the congressional district down south. And with the comfortable double digit lead, it appears voters are going blue in District 3 once again. And with this poll, there is a margin of error of 5.6 percentage points, but Sandoroff says that they have had a very strong record of accuracy over the years. Reporting in Albuquerque, Kayla Norwood, KOAT Action 7 News. And this is a poll the Journal has been doing for 30 years now, but for the first time, they're splitting the survey this weekend. Saturday, they'll release the congressional results. On Sunday, they'll release the presidential and Senate polling numbers.